Yes, it certainly does. It looks uh, positively vicious. Uh, not quite like the WWE fighting. This is very genuine violence taking place in front of us. And I suspect it's because we're heading towards the spring. Well, we're in the spring now. And obviously the competition for territories and females is going to be that much heavier. But I mean, this looks like it could result in a death almost. Yeah, the one on the bottom yeah. does look like he's, he's running out of a bit of steam. Mm. And the guy on top doesn't look like he's about to let up either. Yeah. It is quite disturbing, I must say. It's not... Um, well, one doesn't like to see too much violence, I suppose, especially from birds, which I suppose we tend to think of as uh, sweet song songsters of the morning, rather than vicious killers of their own kind. Oh, there, I can see blood now. Can you? Right, I now have my powerful binoculars out. Last used by Field Marshal Erwin Rommel during the desert campaign. That is horrific. I think that thing's dying, you know that. Completely agree. It seems to, the struggle seems to be getting weaker and weaker. This is actually very disturbing. Yeah. Oh, oh it's over. Gone. No, no, here we go. And they just won't let each other be. Well, I'm quite glad that that's ended. I must say, I found that quite a uh, distressing to watch. It's um, violence, of course, is a way of life. Um, I'm now. I feel like I'm, I'm a reporter coming to you live from Beirut uh, during the uh, conflict there, and where we have just watched the violence, of course, of the um, Drongos as the humans were fighting with each other there in Lebanon at that time. Hello, Brent. Hello, James. Will they fight to the death, do you think? This is a question from Anna Marie, Brent. Well, I think, given the opportunity, they would, and I actually thought there might be a death this, this morning, but fortunately for the smaller, it seemed, drongo that was on the bottom, it managed to escape. A very, very aggressive little birds. But I mean, that was an unbelievably fascinating little interlude and definitely not something James and I have ever seen before in our vast years in the bush. Yes. So, and on that note, we're going to send you back across to Scotty and hopefully before the end of drive, we might be able to find some something else interesting. Something perhaps a little less violent. See you just now. Some cuddled, cuddly bears. Like this microphone. I'm going to make a fur. Probably inappropriate. Yeah.